as well, our second guest is also a guest of Catalyst Week, yeah. Jessica Simon yeah. from The Passion Co. Thank you so much for being here. Of course, thank We're you. so happy to have you. Yeah. So what I think is unique about your business is that mm. your passion is people's passion. Yeah. So tell me about that. Oh my, I struggle a lot with not knowing what my passion is. Um, and I had like the best jobs, went to Stanford Business School, was working at the hottest startup, and it still fe felt like something was missing. So I decided that I wanted to go and find how do you live a meaningful and fulfilled life? So I interviewed 100 people doing what they love, and I realized that yes, there was a way. Um, so I started applying it to myself, and then I saw that there's a whole generation who wants it too. So I said, well, the best way is to bring what I learned and give it to the millions of other people in my generation who want to do something that's meaningful. So yeah. Yeah, so how did you do that? Uh, yeah, so I, what, what I learned from my interviews are three things. Uh, so this is the three secret sauce to living the life that you want. Okay. Pay attention. <laughs> Number one is self-awareness. Like truly knowing what brings you meaning, what are your values, and what are the passions you're interested in. In addition, being able to be aware of your fears. What's stopping you, right? When you're about to do something and you find an excuse not to do it, what is underneath that? Number two is community, which you have, and I've seen in downtown Las Vegas, is having people who support you, people you connect with, and people who call you on your bullshit as well. So having that supportive community um, is really, really important because it takes a village to live your passion. And the third uh, part of the sauce, which is the most exciting part is action, is t doing a passion project. So it's not about quitting your job and going to Bali. It's not eat, pray, love. It's actually about, while you're at your job, engaging into something you're interested in on the side that's tangible, that's achievable, and that's measurable, which is the passion project. So let's recap. <laughs> Self-awareness, community, and action. So eat I was supposed to keep my day job. Yes. Among all this. So, um, no, so from the hundred people that I've interviewed, like believe it or not, the key, the main theme was that none of them just quit. They started something on the side, and it organically grew and became a business, and then they left. But it is silly to just quit your job with nothing. I mean, you're gonna go back, knock on your parents' door, ask them to pay the rent, or live with them, which some people call the sharing economy. You can always disguise it this way. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's truly what I learned and what I did. So what makes you tick about helping people figure that out? Um, what, what part of it excites me? Yeah, like what? Oh my God, it's, it's so amazing to tap into the human potential. Like each and every one of you who are listening to this or like watching me right now has a reason why they're here. And just watching you tap into it and step into your power and your passion and act from passion is the most fulfilling feeling in the world. Um, because every one of us can make a difference, and every one of us has the potential to live the life that they want. It's just about stepping into your power. So how do you find these people's passions? Is it like a one-on-one -on -one thing? Is it a workshop? Yeah. Great, so that's a really good question. So our flagship program is called Find Your Passion. It's a five-week program. And you take it with 20 other uh, people, you're uh, basically millennials, what we call 20s and 30s. Um, and it's a three evening classes, and it culminates into an amazing event called Shine, which is a show and tell for adults. So throughout the class, one, you're connecting, you're building your passion tree. And your passion tree consists of your values, your meaning statement, your branches, which are your passions, and your fruits, which are your passion projects. Then you take that one passion project you're most excited about and you turn it into, uh, basically you execute on it. And by end of the program, we have a big event with lots of champagne, a great DJ, not better than you. And <laughs> you're really good. And, and uh, you showcase what you created and you celebrate with the community. So what if someone comes to that and they have no, like starting out, they have no idea what they're passionate about. Can you tune into that? Absolutely. So the way we look at it is we, we get people in a space where they write down what we call your 25 dreams. 
So anything really from your childhood dream, like you wanted to be a singer, a dancer, to things that are crazy, like you're like, I actually want to go to the moon, or I want to become on a, I want to go on a, become on a fortune, a for, a cover of Fortune magazine. Um, and so we get people to remove all of the barriers and be like, dump everything on a paper. Then we do the five wise exercise where we choose, you choose the five most exciting dreams and you dig for each one with someone into the why you're doing it. So for yeah. example, what is one dream that you have? Cosmetics. I love makeup. You want to make makeup or you want to? I want to make it. Why? I don't know. I've always wanted to. Why Why you always wanted to? Where, where does, what does that mean to you? This is like so on the spot, creative. <laughs> um, I always wanted to be like the creative director of something. Uh -huh. Like I love to play in makeup and I just wanted to create it and yeah. it to be my own thing. It sounds like there is something there about creating that excites you. I right? feel like this is so intense, like we're having a workshop right here. I know, you <laughs> asked, I answered. Ask and you shall receive. No, definitely, yeah. So that's, and that's just an example. To, like at, yeah. the, at the bottom of what we want to do, of our desires lies something that brings us meaning. Yeah. And if we connect to that, we can do so many passions. It's not about one career. It's not about one job, right? You can reinvent yourself. And then you can work at something for three years and be like, okay, now I'm ready to do something else. Reinvent yourself. Awesome. Yeah. So tell people where they can find you. This is so fascinating. Yeah, great. So if you want to find us, uh, go. you can Google The Passion Company. Uh, we're on Facebook. Yay, we made it to Facebook. Uh, uh, you can also obviously find us on Twitter and Instagram. And I highly, highly encourage you to look at our blog called Passion Stories, which fe feature inspirational stories of people who left their job to pursue their passion. Um, they all We all work with professional photographers to shoot their stories and um, they're very, very good stories that promise quality. So check them out. All right. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you for being here. And I, I look forward to your passion project of uh, makeup. <laughs> oh, it's right around the corner. Yeah. Just stay tuned. Hold her accountable, community. <laughs>